Hey guys, Chris here, and this is going to be a review on the Vegas Robena Donna Angel. Sorry if I pronounced that completely wrong, I probably butchered it, but we'll just go with that. This is an absolute mammoth of a scar, it is pretty excessive on the size. If you get, uh, I'm not sure how well the band is going to focus because it is quite shiny and that tends to throw off the auto focus a little bit. There we go. As you can see, it's pretty simple, but. Um, Quite nice embossed shiny gold, so uh, you know it's a simple but effective band. I tend to like that about scars. This is a seven and five eighths inch cigar, and it's supposedly forty nine ring gauge, which is a double corona. So yeah, excessive on the size. Twenty four pound forty nine, I believe this was. I bought it in a box of um, twenty five. It's quite expensive. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I've had one before. I know they're pretty good. Um, yeah, I also gave one of these away before. So looking at the scar itself, it looks pretty plain. Some of these wrappers are quite hard to get off. You know, when you're making these extra long scars, generally they always are expensive, mainly because the outer wrapper is quite hard to get hold of. You know, some good consistent wrappers this size, and this is a good consistent one. Very little in the way of veins, no real problems, no real spots, I don't see any distinct problems, it's pretty smooth all over. Maybe a little bit of a plume fuzz going on there because I've had them sitting around for quite a while in the humidor. But yeah, in general, very smooth. I'm not sure, there we go, focused. So it looks okay. In terms of uh, how well it's packed, I've been noticing this on pretty much all of them. Just, um, you know, giving a squeeze throughout all of it, except one bit. All of it seems to be, you know, relatively tough. But right at the um, plug on all of them, it seems quite quite soft around here. So I'm guessing when they're uh, bringing all tobaccos together, they didn't uh, quite care about that much. Looking at the foot of the score. Again, this is probably going to be an autofocus nightmare. Oh, it isn't for a change. But um, as you can see, not much of a variety in there. So, well, in terms of uh, colour, so we're likely going to see the same tobaccos. This is listed as a medium to full, I believe. However, of course, it does last a long time. So you're going to be expecting something a little bit um, on the... Uh, someone's going to give you a kick in the stomach, maybe. Sorry if I was just... Uh, I'm getting the stopwatch ready. I usually forget to time the cigars, but... Um, Try my best to remember. So I'm going to use a Mac and noodle cutter, butterfly cutter that I seem to have misplaced as I do on an average daily basis. Oh, it's right there, right in front of me. <laughs> I, I think I'm turning blind. But yeah. <clears throat> it smells very light, a little bit of ammonia. The usual kind of a PE cigar, if you know what I mean. You know, it seems like a um, relatively light wrapper, I would say, in terms of flavour. The cap is actually pretty uh, solid. Let's cut about here. And that was, that was uh, pretty solid to get through. There's actually quite a lot of airflow coming through that. I'm going to keep the band off for now even though it's loose. That's uh, some quite good nutty flavours. <clears throat> so, it's just one of those days where everything chooses to fill on me, so uh, my lighter is currently filling on me. So let's go with this, one of the uh, tour jet ones. Just going to uh, do this so you can see it. The way I always light cigars. It's a lot easier with a better lighter than this, but uh, as you can see, my usual lighter is out of commission right now. So I just start in the middle, work my way out a little bit, make sure the whole fit of it starts to glow.
blow me on it can help. I slowly make my way just just a little bit around the edge. That tends to um, give it a better burn. A couple of puffs with the lighter on it. It's good as gold. Let me just uh, start a stopwatch. That's um, really creamy. Straight away, that's uh, that's a light, that's a light cigar flavor right there. That's creamy. A little bit nutty. Almost no earth in this cigar. There's sort of like a little um, stale slash musty taste right at the back. That's um, that tends to be a little indication that there's going to be some spice later on. And you know, it's sort of like a spice at the start of a scar. You tend to figure that a little bit. Nothing coarse in the cigar at all. It's very very smooth. At the nose, like a cigarillo. Nothing uh, flavor wise on that retro hill out of the usual. Usual little bit of chocolate taste you tend to get. Yeah, a little bit now, but um, I would say this is mostly a creamy cigar. So, pretty uh, minimal on the flavors. Nothing. Um, Nothing out of the usual sort of flavors that you would uh, occasionally taste popping up in some scars. So far, seems like a pleasant light cigar. Creamy, a little bit now. So I'll see you in the next clip when we've actually smoked a decent bit of the cigar, and I'll let you know the flavors at that point. Um, we're 20 minutes in. This is um. A decently long ash, it doesn't look like it's about to fall off either. Seems to be holding together pretty well. For 20 minutes in, you know, you're probably looking at an hour and a half if it's going the same rate, but of course it won't. So maybe a little bit longer than that. I'd say flavor-wise it's probably picked up. It's probably gone from a light body to a light medium. Still quite on the nutty creamy side though. I'm actually scared this might fall off, so if, if you see me leaning forward, it's because I've got my ash straight here. Yeah, it's just leaving the creamy sensation at the back of the mouth. Sort of an overall nutty aftertaste. Sort of that little uh, musty taste has gone a little bit. I would say I feel like there's just the slightest bit of coarseness in this now. Overall though, taste is still much the same, just a little bit adjusted to um, <clears throat> maybe a little bit of a coarser outline. There's a little hint of something else back there. I think it's um, the slightest, I mean the absolute slightest hint of cocoa right at the back. Like, as in the aftertaste as you keep moving the flares around your mouth, you could just sort of tell there's a little bit of cocoa in the back there.
overall that's it though it's just a little bit coarser than before slightly favor shift but um yeah the sash is uh getting pretty long so i will see you in the next segment of the video as i said this was 20 minutes in but um yeah we'll probably make it maybe about halfway through the scarf so i will see you in that next clip hey guys um we're back it's an hour and 12 minutes in i was going to do this at an hour in but i had a problem with my webcam it uh suddenly stopped working so i had to get to the back of my computer which is way down there thousands of wires I had to unplug and replug it and it seems to work now so uh, if things look a little bit different that's because all my settings changed all that stuff but an hour and 12 minutes in quite a bit spicier I wouldn't say it's conventional spice, but I would say it's really towering up in the plug there. It uh, actually tastes a little bit on the um, stale, musty side again. It's um, That's honestly not that great of a, of a taste right now. You sort of feel it's sort of kicking in the spice, but it's more like um, hitting around the medium body. It's um, nothing at all special there, but as I said, a little bit of a musty spice in there. Still actually a little bit of creamy, you can still taste that in there. Not really any nut in this though, it's um, you get sweet cigars, you get better spicy cigars this one's sort of going towards the sweeter side but it's really i don't know the flavors seem kind of dead it seems really um genuinely musty that's the best i could describe it with yeah nothing too great in there at the moment so mostly good scar to this point this point's just mm, a little bit off so we are near an hour and 15 minutes in we're probably looking at an hour and 45 minutes ago here i'll get back to you on the last segment of the cigar so i'm just making the conclusion clip to this still a little bit to go i'll be smoking that after this recording um but yeah i'm gonna end the review here at an hour and a half probably another 15 minutes on this if you wanted to you could probably extend this to a two hour cigar instead of one hour 45 minutes right now it's really just gone to that bad stage where it's just um it's not spice it's just really ash you're tasting it's um i don't know it's just reduced to quite a low quality smoke right now sort of like a little bit of a earthy spice right on the tongue but um yeah, in general, I'm guessing that mustiness has just exploded into this sort of just ash taste. Could be the way it's burning though. Sometimes uh, longer scars can have low quality burns near the end. But in general, it's uh, reduced quite bad. So what are my opinions on this scar? Well, 25 quid. That's quite a lot, and if you're paying that, you would expect a good, good, enjoyable scar, regardless of you know how big of a scar it is. And for the most part, it's pretty good. Um, a very good creamy nut scar for at least half of it. But in this last half, it's reducing to something you know not quite as good. So um, I'm a little bit edgy on that. I probably wouldn't say waste your money on one of these. I'd probably say buy five good cigars because you can actually buy some good scars for five quid, or you know at least two or three good cigars if you're uh, up in the price a bit but um i wouldn't really recommend this one too much but it, it's a good enough cigar i would say I'll probably be finishing this one a little bit but um i doubt i'll be smoking too much more of it so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it you can buy this in the links in the description there's also my facebook page and my patreon page in case you wanted to support me so thanks for watching and goodbye